welcome to the Monoe Beach Resort and Spa, the hotel for lovers. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. Preston cheated on you. Living well is the best revenge. Hey guys, Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Cheyenne Jackson and Leslie Jordan from Call Me Cat. Good to see you guys. Hey. Welcome. Me too. I, I found the, the first season TV Guide cover we did with Mayim last year. So Woo! that was for season one. So I think I think we need to work on getting the whole cast on the next one. What do you think? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Love that. Um, I, I'm a big fan of the show. Obviously, we are a TV guy too, but I've loved the show from day one. I love what you guys do with your characters and the stories. It's so much fun. And this episode we're talking about has a lot of fun stuff. And I'm just going to say first, right off the bat, Swoozie Kurtz, Leslie Jordan going on vacation together. I want to go. <laughs> we all need to go. Leslie, what, what, what's that storyline about? What, why did they go on vacation together? Um, let me see what all was going on. Um, Cheyenne, help me. I can't I remember think, all of it. I think, uh, uh, what did happen? she breaks up with her boyfriend. Broke, no, she, Preston was having an affair. That's right. Preston he already paid for the vacation. Was having an affair. And so just to get away, um, we, but didn't somebody, we, we went to Bora Bora. Who knows? Yeah. She'd already paid for the trip, I think. And so, and yeah, so she went ahead and- Oh, she had paid. Yes, and that was the cute part about it is that we get there and we figure out that they still have Preston's credit card on file. <laughs> and and don't, so, you, don't you pretend to be him? Yes, I had that real book. Oh, yes, I'm Preston. And I was like Preston. And so we get massages and facials and we we run his credit card up because uh, to pay him back for having an affair. <laughs> That's it. Let's we Lucy together. It's my favorite thing. It is my oh, favorite, it. favorite thing. I hope they write more and more and more. It just works. I know. And, and Leslie, there there is like a nice kind of touching button on this on the uh, storyline where you're both talking about kind of where what life has dealt you at the moment. And mm -hmm. but can you talk about shooting a scene like that? Because that's what I love about the show is you can have the zany madcap stuff, but then you have these nice tender moments. Can you talk about working out that with Su Swoozie? I told I told Swoozie right after that scene, I said, you know, you we're like a couple of old bald vegans, you know, we're <laughs> you know, hoofing it. And then to have them you know, write something that touching and that sweet and, um, you know, about growing old and where we're going and what's, you know, what's, what it's like. Swoosie especially was so, in fact, twice I forgot to say my line. They go, Leslie, because I, I was just so enthralled with her. I forgot it was my turn to speak. It happened twice. They came over and said, you, do you not know the line? I said, I know the line. I just am so enthralled. I can't, I can't get it out. And, um, you know, it really it made me cry, and and she, uh, oh, it's just God's gift to be able to work with her, and Cheyenne, and Kyla, and Mayim, and Julian, and Chris. Chris, how many have, have I done it all now? Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. Cheyenne, also, also in the episode, um, I totally related to what Max is going through. He realizes maybe it's time to kind of put a, put some reins on his diet a little bit, and he decides to do a cleanse. How, how does that go, and who does he rope in? to do it with him <laughs> oh yeah max is max is going through an existential crisis this season and uh you know an, an early midlife crisis well no midlife really and uh so he's really using all kinds of crutches and food is one of them which i love that they're kind of weaving into because that's something that i use in real life and um yeah so in this one uh he decides to go on a cleanse and brings uh the boys into it uh <laughs> Julian and Oscar um and yeah it's I think this is the one where we have a huge cupcake fight at the end and we had one take to get it I want to pick up on something you said Cheyenne just before we started because this episode in particular I think really shows just the cohesiveness of how this cast has come together in a pretty short time this is still you know season two so the show's really gelling but can you guys talk about that from your perspective since you're in the middle of it all and just what you've felt as the show's progressed to this point? Oh, I'm happy to hear you say that because we are definitely feeling that as well. You know, shows take a minute to really find their voice and find their rhythm and especially making a, a comedy, a situation comedy multicam in the middle of a pandemic with no live audience 
it's really challenging. You know, we have nobody to laugh at us. It's just each other. It's just the cameraman. Yeah, it feels good to be hitting our stride. And I think it's just, I think we're going to be a, a slow burn the first couple of seasons. And then I think we're going to be around for a while. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, I know. I don't think. I've already been looking at property. I want a pony farm in Nashville. <laughs> All right. You guys watch Cow Me Cat every Thursday night on Fox. Cheyenne, Leslie, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Jim. Thanks, Jim.